requested recipe from Chef Ricardo Cooking. Um, I normally do my healthy eating and my healthy recipe, but you know, people will be asking Chef Ricardo, I need certain kind of recipes, which I have to. There's no way I can't support my audience like that. They will ask me <laughs> for a recipe, which I, I said to myself, you know what? Uh, I don't have to share this kind of recipe with my audience because at the end of the day, they know said that's where Chef Ricardo is coming from. Um, it's just someone has requested the recipe from me and I decide to sh share the recipe with them. And you know what I mean? Hopefully, you guys. Um, Nicole, good morning. Esther Delicious. Good evening. Um, good morning, Esther Delicious. Thank you so much for coming on the show. We appreciate the love. So, as I said, it's a requested recipe. You know, your audience will always want to ask if a certain kind of recipe, which, you know what I mean, you have to share it with them. It doesn't matter what the can't, you know what I mean. Well, is is you know what I mean, I normally do my healthy eating and my healthy lifestyle and all of these things. But, one of my audience saying to me, Chef Ricardo, it's coming up to Christmas, it's coming up to, to Thanksgiving Day, you know, we, we have to, um, you have to change up your, <laughs> because that's not you. And I said, yes, I know. So anyway, I'm going to give you the recipe, how to make Jamaican fried dumpling. This is some old school grandmother style. This is how I saw my grandmother make it at home. But she will be using plain flour. All right. She, she will be using plain flour. But I'm not using plain flour. And that's why I take the picture of self-rising flour. I'm using self-rising flour because... Craigle, good morning. Thank you so much for coming on the show. I appreciate you. Nicole, thank you so much. Um, let me see. Let me see what I'm going on right here before I even start my show. Now, this is going to be a long show, now, guys. So if you, if you have to go to work, please go to work and come back and watch it later on. All right? Lim Cactus. Cactus. Th thank you so much for coming on the show. I appreciate the love. All right? Um... Jason Jones, why go on, man? Big up yourself. Thank you so much. Um, and Gwen Ferguson, good morning. Thank you so much for coming on the show. We appreciate the love. Um, Jacqueline. Jacqueline. <laughs> Don't call it right now. I'll leave cactus. I already have that already. Big up on yourself every time. All right. This video, you know what I mean? As I said... E Rose, thank you so much. Is a recipe which someone has requested from Chef Ricardo. All right. Now, I know I'm always doing healthy recipes, and a lot of people like my healthy recipe. But there are people who know that's where Chef Ricardo been coming from. Certain kind of recipes which I want to share with you guys today. So, um, sit back and enjoy the flight. All right. Yeah. Any problem? We take you off by the next after the next stop. No problem. Alright, now let's 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 make it now. So first thing you're gonna need a board. Alright. And as I mentioned before, I'm using self-rising flour. That's where most people normally use nowadays because it makes life easier. Back in the days, what we see with grandmother using plain flour. Alright. Um so but we're gonna be doing a different kind of style. Alright, so what we're gonna do. I'm not making too much, so I'm going to get roughly about, this is one cup, it's a medium-sized cup I'm using. Alright, one cup, All right, you know what, let's use one and a half cups of this self-rising flour. I'm sure that exactly what to do, one and a half cups of self-rising flour. And it's going to be very simple and easy where you guys can make this at home. Now... It is self-rising flour, yes, but this is another tips I'm going to show you we can also do at home. And these are Chef Ricardo tips and ideas for you guys. Get some baking powder. That's a pinch, roughly about, not too much, roughly about a pinch of baking powder. You don't have to, it's option, and put it inside of it. All right, it's, it's self-rising flour. It's pretty good, but that's, that's a little tips I'm sharing with you. Sea salt. All right, pinch of sea salt. Um, yeah. Um, secondly, this is where all my grandmother would normally make it. They can use. I'm using 
Um, I'm using brown sugar. You can use granulated sugar or you can use whatever you like to use. All right, we're going to put roughly about a half a teaspoon inside of it. All right, uh, in the meantime, this is what I've been drinking. A nice, lovely, healthy cup of green tea. All right, I'll, I'll tell you guys, drink as much green tea. It's very good for you. You know what I mean? Give you a good sleep. It calm your nerves, help you to relax in. Make you can be able to save electric and gas in at this time because it keep you warm. Okay? So basically, if you're at home right now and every minute you feel cool and all them things, drink a cup of tea. You know what I mean? Boil a, a big pot of tea and keep it into something warm and keep drinking it through the day to keep your body warm. You know what I mean? If you have to turn off your heater, your gas, or your electric and all them sort of stuff there, you have to just drink a lot of tea to keep your body warm and you can be able to save electric and save gas. And not only that is helping you in your health benefit also. So right here, nice, lovely cup of green tea. You know, the middle of the day after the day right now. Mm -hmm. All right. So we'll put the brown sugar in it. Now, what we're going to do, in Jamaica, they call it one stick of butter or half stick of butter. Something like that. I don't quite remember. All right. Now, we're going to put a teaspoon of... Like, uh, this is some butter. Okay. This is... um. Unsalted butter I'm using And as I said You can make it your way But it's just a requested recipe for my audience And I have to make it Alright And not only that It's coming up to Christmas and Thanksgiving And a lot of people will be eating Alright Some some people will, people will be eating dumpling, chicken Whatever you cook at home People will be eating I tell you that So what we're going to do I'm just wearing my gloves And I'm going to simply Break up the butter and the sugar, everything together. All right. Some people put cornmeal inside of it, but this time we're not going to add any cornmeal. It doesn't, you don't have to add cornmeal to it. You can just do it just like this, you know, because a lot of people doesn't like cornmeal into it. All right. Yeah. So mix it up like this. Now, time and time has changed. All right. So what we're going to do, you can use water, but I'm going to use milk. All right. I'm using milk. You can use water, but I'm just using some milk at the moment. Now, what you want to do, you just want to simple. Get it together like this. All right. Yeah, so as you guys can see. If you don't know how to make the Jamaican dumpling, this is also how you make Jamaican dumpling, all right? So the only reason why I'm using the gloves is because I don't like to stick up on my hand sometimes. All right. All right. Now, as you guys can see, what I'm going to do is just like I wet my hand and then I go back into it just to keep it moist and nice. And that's what I need it out. So all of the ladies them who have some long fingernail, this is the right thing to use. You know what I mean? You can use your gloves. And yeah. I need it out. All right. So when I make dumpling, your bowl is supposed to look like this. That's how the word you need the bowl to look like.
Now, what you can also do, make the dumpling from the night before and keep it into your fridge. You know, when it comes up to Christmas and all them things, a lot of people prepare stuff, preparing stuff for getting themselves ready. So these are some tips and ideas I'm going to give you. Because I'm telling you, it's coming up to Christmas and Thanksgiving. People will still eat certain kind of food. You know what I mean? It's tradition. And we, we love food. But sometimes you still have to control yourself and try and eat a little bit healthy sometimes. You know? Yeah. So as you can see, this is it right here. You just want to knead it in. All right? Now, this is how it look. Now, what you want to do, once you do it this way, all right, you want to get, a lot of people saying that, oh, don't use the cream film, I don't do this, I don't do that. You know what I mean? I don't have a try sometime because at the end of the day, we born come see it and people still using it and they're still living for many years. So, so we're going to just wrap this. All right, we're going to just wrap it and leave it for it to, to rest. All right, it's good to make the dough rest for a bit. All right, hopefully. All right, we're just going to wrap it and make the dough rest for a bit. All right, just like that. Now, in the meantime, this is resting. What we're going to need to do is get the oil hot in the meantime. All right. So we're going to have to get the oil hot. So I'm using some, um, these are some avocado oil I'm using. You can use your whatever kind of oil. You know what I mean? You want to use at home. You can use um, your, your olive oil. These are some coconut oil, all right? Coconut oil I've been using. So let's get the oil hot now. It won't take too long. This is a Dutchie, all right? And Dutchie, it holds heat. Now, before I go any further, let's get the like up to 50. Yes, I'm gonna have to close the show. All right, so I'm gonna show you exactly how to fry Jamaican fried dumpling. So in the meantime, you can leave this for at least a nice good half an hour or 30 minutes for it to sweat and get, you know what I mean, for it to get rest. So when it get rest, it's easy to roll and make the Jamaican dumpling, all right? Um, you can make it your way, or you want to make it. You don't have to use all of those ingredients which Chef Ricardo just used. You can make it any kind of way you want to make it. But... It's just a requested video from my audience and coming in the following weeks ahead, I will be giving you guys a lot of Jamaican recipe, getting yourself ready for Thanksgiving and Christmas and because no matter what happened, people will be eating now and then someone will want to eat a piece of chicken, eat a piece of fried dumpling, eat something, you want to eat something, sometimes you feel for some comfortable food, you know what I mean, comfortable food is different from, you know what I mean, yes, at the end of the day, we know so that um all of those flow on this doesn't good for you but moderation won't kill you for now you know you can do stuff in moderation guys all right nice recipe thank you so much gracie big up yourself thank you so much all right so yeah but at the end of the day we have to eat some food sometimes certain kind of food lucia smith thank you so much great cook um M.M. Glory. Oh, cassava dumpling. Okay. Uh, I never met that one before. I just, I just kind of stick to the Jamaican dumpling. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm going to check out the cassava dumpling. So at the moment, we are making it hot. The oil hot. I'm going to make... I need to make a banana cake, guys. So if you want me to make the banana cake for Christmas and Thanksgiving, let me know and I can quickly do that one. All right, banana cake. I don't know if you guys ever made banana cake before, right? Banana cake. I got a nice, lovely recipe for banana cake. And if you want me to share the recipe with you, 
leave your comments in the description box and i can sh i will stay right here and show you how to make the banana cake right now the live because i know exactly how to do it so if you are guys who you know what i mean just want to do something different in the christmas here in the thanksgiving let's shuffle card and all mary and bartley all the way from jamaica thank you so much big up yourself ricky miller London bless man, thank you so much. Um, Kenny Inson, big up yourself. Uh, who next again? Jacqueline. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. When it when it when it cold man, you have to you have to do certain things at home. Yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. You know what I mean? I'm drinking a nice, lovely cup of green tea. In that day. Alright. And not only that, the green tea is very good for you. know, help to make you lose weight and uh, detox in the body. Mm-hmm. So, if you want to keep your body warm, this is what, things we have to do at home. Um, Alright. So, please share the video, guys. Please... Now, before I go any further, let's get the like up to 50, guys. Before I even start any more of the show. What I'm going to do, I'm going to break off a piece of the door to tell me when my height is ready. All right? So, this is what I'm going to do. Put a little piece in the pot and it will tell me green tea is very healthy. 100%, my, my, my brother Craig. Thank you so much. Yeah, that's what I've been drinking on the day, you know what I mean? Because, as I say, if you have to save electric and gas, then you have to have something to keep you warm. You know what I mean? Because everything has raised at the moment. Everything is sky high blown. And it's not like in the Caribbean where you got sun 24 hours. This is England. All right? And especially if you live in Canada, all them places where are very cool. So, yeah. You know what I mean? So you have to keep yourself warm. And the easiest way to keep yourself warm is this kind of way. Drink some green tea or some ginger tea and keep the body warm. Yeah. Um, I think I may do the festival tomorrow. Tomorrow is what? Friday? Yeah. I may do the festival tomorrow. Recipe, please. Okay. Um... The recipe is one and a half cups of flour. I gotta, I gotta put the recipe on my Instagram page. Good morning, S12. Thank you so much for coming on the show. I appreciate the love. Thank you so much. I will share the recipe on my Instagram page. All right, where you guys can go over and. So this is telling me how high, how hot the high is gonna be. So the oil is getting hot, as you guys can see. All right. So you see? Yeah, that looking good. Nice one. Yeah, it's a very good look. Things looking good so far. And if you like the recipe what I'm doing, please leave your comments. It's important for you to leave the comments. And this recipe is a simple recipe. And as I say, it's coming up to Christmas. And Thanksgiving Day, and people will be doing fried chicken, fried dumpling, festival, fried planting is a tradition thing. All right, back to back. And if you are still sick, some people are still gonna eat. It's all about life. All right, you have to discipline yourself. I know, say, boy, there are certain things you're not gonna do, but like me. All right, so right here, the aisle is getting hot. Lovely. And what I'm going to do is, normally I would leave the door for longer, but we're just going to simple. So this, the door, you saw it, the door look different when to make it rise. And if you leave it longer, it's even much better. All 
right? So what we normally do Alright, so we're not gonna make them too big, we're gonna make them very small. Alright, some people roll them like this, like a ball. So let's put them in the pot now and see what's going on. And we're not gonna make them too big, as I said. Alright. You can make them any kind of way you're happy with, guys. Just you have to. So let's turn on the, the pot a little bit. The stove a little bit. Not too, not a too high temperature. Looking good. Now, if you want me to do any kind of recipe for you guys, you have to let Chef Ricardo know because. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? My audience, orders a requested recipe from Chef Ricardo, you know? So if you want to request something, if you want me to make the festival, the Jamaican festival, then, you know what I mean? That's another video I can do also. All right. Yeah, man, look at that. Floating, you know what I mean? And that's what we're talking about. That looks amazing. All right. So you just want to make sure they both fried properly. All right. Now it's coming up to Christmas, guys. A lot of you guys have to do something like this. Oh, yeah. Look at that. That is excellent. All right. Now, if you want me to make the um the festival, leave your comments in the description box when the video has finished, and Chef Ricardo will make it. Once I get at least ten people say yes, make the festival Jamaican festival. I'll show you how to do that one. Alright, so this is what you want it to look like. So the, the long, you see the flower? The longer you have the flower, keep 
That is the better you get a better rolling. All right. And what you want to do, I call this one right here. Nice color. Put it on a piece of a napkin. Oh yeah. Now here it is. So easy guys, nothing too complicated. And you can do this at home man. One hundred percent. One hundred percent. Here's the same. I go on happy new year man. As you can see, this looks amazing. Look at that. Oh yeah. That is Jamaican fried dumpling. Now, if you have a recipe where you want to share with Chef Ricardo, I don't mind. Um, I would be happy for you guys to share the recipe with me. Please share your recipe with Chef Ricardo. If you got a recipe, please share it with Chef Ricardo Cooking. I will be really appreciate it. That's what I'm talking about, all right? Yeah. That looks amazing. Please share the video, please tell a friend. Now, if you want me to make the festival, I, I need at least 10 people to say yes. If you want me to um, make you some um, festival, Jamaican festival, then let me know and I will do the festival for you. Coming up, that will be tomorrow. Tomorrow is what, Friday? Festival there with fry fish. Oh my gosh. Welcome back. Went further. No, you can have you can have a feeling to it, yes, like you can, if you want me to do the filling one, I can also do that one. I know how to do that one, man. You can add color to it. You can add aki to it. You can um, do so many things to it. All right. Yeah, man. You can add a lot of stuff to it. Anything. You can cut them into half. 
put anything inside of them. They can roll them and fry them. All different kind of things they can do with these. Right here. All right. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Um, so, yeah, man. It's just a little bit of tips and ideas for some of you guys. Now, this video, as I say, is a requested video, guys. It's not a video where um, if someone requests the video from Shuffle Card and I decide to do the video. I'll give you a tips and ideas on how you can also um, This is another way how to fry planting for your um, Thanksgiving Day and Christmas. All right, so basically, this Christmas, if you want to learn how to fry planting, cut your planting into another round circle like this. All right, and fry them. This is tips and ideas where you guys can do also for this Christmas and Thanksgiving Day. Because at the end of the day, if you even have a restaurant, you can do it this kind of way. It's a new way of frying, planting at home. You know what I mean? Because we've been doing the things them same, same old passion. Give you something this, different this time. And also I'm gonna do your banana cake. I got a recipe recipe for banana cake which I wanna share with you. So please look out for that video. Right banana cake. That's the video next coming. So this is another way how you can fry planting guys. You're gonna, you know what I mean? Say if you have some planting and you're doing a function and you're doing something at home. There's another way or you can fry your planting and it come out lovely and nice. Honestly. So this is just some more tips and ideas for you to do at home. Now the Dutch pot, a lot of people keep asking me for Dutch pot. I will be coming very soon where you can get the Dutch pot to buy. And it's going to be a very good price for you. Chef 767, big up yourself. That's the yellow planting, yeah. So I'm just giving you a few tips and ideas of how you can fry planting. Otherwise, here's another way. Really nice way. If you have a function and you want to do something different and it's coming up to our Christmas and Thanksgiving day, then this is also another way you can also fry planting. Honestly, it's wicked this way, guys. And you can serve them with anything you want to serve it with. What the recipe, please? The recipe will be on my Instagram page in the next 30 minutes time. In the next 30 minutes time, I will be giving you the recipe on my Instagram page. Chef Ricardo cooking. What, ripe planting? Or ripe planting tastes similar like ripe banana, but this one is a little bit bigger. All right, here it is. Very nice. So I'm just simply sharing something where you can, guys can do at home, all right? Look at that. Amazing. All right, look at that, guys. You see that? That's what I'm talking about. Fry planting. Let's turn off the cooker. This Christmas, you know, guys can do a lot of things different this year. Uh, most time people go to the restaurant, this is where them order, you know, fry planting. You can't, they're not going to eat without they have some fried planting on them plate. That's some people, not everyone. 
All right. Let's put that one side. We don't want to cause any accident. All right, here it is. Oh, yeah. Now, that's what I'm talking about. Let's switch the camera around as you guys can see. All right. That's it right there. 2022 fried dumpling with fried planting. Tips and ideas ready for Christmas. Now, this is what I'm talking about. Look at this. All right, guys. That's all your fried dumpling. You see that? Look at that. And make sure your fingernail is clean. No black fingernail cannot make dumpling, guys. You see, you have to, you have to make your fingernail clean and them have to cut very low. No black spot, anything. Them have to clean and nice when you're making Jamaican fried dumpling. Red flag. All right, that's how the dumpling them look. All right, guys. Yeah, 100%. Soft and moisture. They're soft. Look at this. You see? Some people call them Johnny Cake. All right? Yeah. All right? So if you want to learn to make this one, the recipe, I will put it on my Instagram in the next 20 minutes time. All right? This is all the fry planting look. When you cut them into the another circle, we shall just show you and fry them. Now, if you like the recipe, please leave your comments in the description box. Please tell a friend and a friend tell a friend. If you want me to make the festival, at least 10 people have to write the request in the description box. If you want me to make, what well, the next one them again? The ripe banana cake. Ripe banana cake. Sometimes I go to the supermarket, ripe banana, dash right at the supermarket. You can also make some banana cake and... Uh, so, do you know you can make banana cake? All right, guys. And also put it into your freezer and take off a few slices when you're ready and have it with a nice cup of tea in the winter, yeah? When the cold weather is come out like now. Do you know that? These are things where you have to pee here ahead. All right? So, if you guys want me to do that, then leave your comments in the description box and then I will make it for you. Thank you so much for watching. Have a beautiful day. Today is Thursday rainy morning but it's a beautiful day trust me and it's not too cool all right and remember to drink green tea during the day to keep your body warm and see if gas and electric all right have a beautiful day and i'll see you next time with more recipe bye, -bye.